Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and it looks like Apple has released another preview for Yosemite for 2D developers, and it's uh, version 5, uh, 1.0. Not too much uh, information I could give you guys of what uh, has been pushed out to the new update. Uh, a bunch of uh, back end stuff has been modified and tweaked a little bit to make the operating system run a little faster. Uh, but let's uh, update and see how big this update really is. Uh, download and restarts and 1.12 gigs. Wow. So this update is pretty huge. So I'm going to let this go. Uh, 45, 47. It keeps on going up and down. And uh, I'll catch you guys when the update is done. And we're back, guys. Finally, the huge 1.12 gig update of Yosemite Preview 5 has finally updated on my machine. As you can see, I got the new build, the 14A314H. I haven't had enough time to actually play around with the new build to see what's new, but I do have the release notes at my blog site of what's uh, known issues or what's fixed with the new operating system. Uh, again, it looks like there's more behind the scene tweaks and improvements that Apple has pushed out to this preview five. Uh, no really huge big impact design like a new app or uh, integrations with other things but I did notice that uh, within the aperture part it looks like only aperture 3.1 will run on a Yosemite developer preview file all the versions of aperture will not launch so that's a known issue and as well as iPhoto if you're using an older version of iPhoto that's not 9.5.1 it's not gonna work for Yosemite and it looks like they also have some known issues with Preview 5 uh, with the hands-off uh, feature that they introduced at the WWDC. But again, guys, um, I'm going to post this link at, my, at the description part so you guys could go check it out. And uh, if you are testing out Preview 5 and you notice a bug or you notice something new, leave it at the bottom of the comment section and let me know. Uh, I'm always here to learn from you guys. I'm going to try to play with this build a little bit more to see if there's anything else other than these known issues and fixes that Apple has released to the public. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.